Steve everybody and welcome to On Blast with MG. Today we're going to do a quick review and some testing of the Garrett Ace 400 metal detector. Um, I purchased this uh, via Amazon um, a year or two ago for, you know, I think it was about $140 uh, shipped to my house. Um, and it's proven to be a pretty reasonable metal detector. So I hope you find this uh, review useful. Um, and get out, get out there yourself and uh, find some things. Uh, real quick, I haven't really found anything of real value with this uh, metal detector yet, um, but that's just a matter of uh, myself not, not going out there too often and uh, doing a little bit more research on the locations that you want to metal detect. Um, but I have found coins and uh, some rings, uh, nothing of real value, but uh, you know, going out there, it's not so much about finding something of real value, but getting out there and having some fun. So that's what I use it for. So it's a Garrett Ace 400. Um, it comes with a waterproof coil, the Double D Pro Formant coil. It is waterproof, so you can metal detect with this um, in riverbeds or on, you know, on the beach, uh, ocean. Um, it is waterproof. However, the housing for the actual unit is not waterproof, so it's only waterproof up to probably, you know, before you get to the, the housing. So just be aware of that. Uh, it does work really well, I think. Um, it's got a nice, comfortable, ergonomical handle um, that you also, you can, you put your wrist right through here and it's a really nice, uh, comfy fit for your forearm. So it takes off a lot of that extra weight that's, uh, associated with having a real heavy not it's not really heavy actually it's you know I'd say maybe five pounds overall uh, but it could get a little heavy as you're holding it with just your wrist and forearm so this really does help to have it anchored at your forearm uh, the metal detector itself like I said it's a Garrett ace 400 is powered by four AA batteries that come in that you place right in here I'll take this off to show you guys this slides right right down for uh, AA batteries. Uh, the battery life on this seems to be pretty long. Um, I haven't had to change it yet because of the low battery light. So they've lasted a pretty long time. It doesn't go through. Um, this is a telescoping pole. It's got a several releases right there and there where you unscrew and also on top. So it could extend or shortened to whatever uh, height you want to put it at uh, depending on how uh, tall you are um, the unit itself comes with a nice display um, with uh, several different modes which uh, I will go through really quickly now um, but you turn it on by really easy on button right there on the left side um, and then you have on the left side you have several modes you have five different modes uh, starting with uh, zero discrimination jewelry mode custom mode relics mode and coin mode you have a battery life indicator right there in the lower left hand side on the right side you have a metered or it's a metered um, a gauge of how deep your object that you've detected is at so two inches four inches six inches or eight plus inches uh, on the very top center you have the discrimination guide uh, from starting with iron to the left moving through gold and coins all the way up through uh, to the end of it on the right side where it actually discriminates between whether it's a 25 cent piece dollar piece one cent ten cents or 50 cent piece now, I'm not very good at using this particular metal detector, so it takes some practice to get used to it, but it does its job and uh, you'll find things. The discrimination part is what I'm saying. It's um, something to kind of get used to the different tones that it makes for different objects. Uh, I myself am not very good at that, but the more you use it, the more familiar you will become with it and the better you are at detecting things. So to start with, you could change the mode by the button on the left hand side. It says mode, plus or minus, plus or minus and mode. 
So you could discriminate, you know, right now I have it set for jewelry, as you can see, but you can discriminate for custom, relics, coins, or zero discrimination. If you go to zero discrimination, which I am in right now, you'll notice that all of the bars are black, meaning that it will pretty much discriminate for anything. It will find whatever it is that's in the ground that is metallic. Um, it will not discriminate for anything. So you'll pretty much find everything. Uh, for a beginner, why not go with that? Just go out there and have fun and find whatever it is that you're gonna find. Um, the next one, if you press the mode down, is jewelry. You could see it takes out the first four or five bars, so it takes out the iron and a little bit of the um, the part that's marked gold. Um, if you go to the next one, custom, you could pretty much customize this one to your own liking. Um, I have it basically to show me anything that's you know gold and coin related, metal related, and taking off all the iron. Relics pretty much takes out only the iron um, and leaves everything else. And then coins, looks like uh, it takes out most of the iron and then leaves all the coin um, all the coin displays open. Okay, so that's the discrimination part. Um, there's a sensitivity a button right in the middle of the display, so you can adjust the sensitivity as to uh, you know what you can find and you know how how sensitive the unit is and then the discrimination button on the right side um, will adjust the discrimination in the for example if you go to the custom uh, mode on the uh, left side you could uh, discriminate and adjust your discrimination to discriminate things such as iron foil etc and finally you have a button below the discrimination which is a check mark that's kind of your enter button and then finally in the middle of the unit dead center there's a little crosshair mark right below it this is actually a pinpointing tool so once you find an object and know the general location of that particular object you can press this object this button right here and it will pinpoint the exact location of that item that you found and you could dig in a much smaller area obviously so you don't have to you know dig a two foot hole in the ground to locate your object. So this is really helpful uh, being out there and I've seen some guys, they have these little wands that after they've detected an object with the metal detector, they stick that wand in there to actually pinpoint the object itself. This unit comes already with something that will help you do that. So you don't have to have two things. Okay, so that's basically the unit. Um, now we're gonna do a little testing. I got, uh, actually uh, before we do the testing, the unit itself does come with a set of headphones right here. They're made by Garrett Metal Detectors. Uh, pretty standard set of headphones with a volume adjusting uh, knob on the, uh, on the actual wire. And it plugs directly into the bottom of the unit. Um, there's the coil um, plug that plugs in the coil and then the uh, headphone jack is uh, right next to it so that's where you plug that in and it does come it does come with it at least when i bought it okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh do a little testing for it and uh, if you hang on to the end of the video um, i i will go to the beach and uh, see what we could find down there for a quick uh quick test at the beach as well but for we're going to do a little testing i brought a few objects out here i bought a piece of foil um, a gold ring a silver ring, a key, a lighter, and a little pocket knife. So we'll spread these out here and uh, see what uh, see what we can see. What I'll give you guys a little taste of what how this uh, metal detector works. All right, so we'll put that over there. And luckily, we have a metal detector, so we can locate these items because uh, those rings are definitely a little hard to see. All right, so let's go and uh, do a little metal detecting. All right, so for this uh, metal detecting test, I will go to the uh, mode on the left side and we're going to choose the, I will choose the jewelry uh, mode, which pretty much uh, discriminates all of the iron um, out of the, uh, takes all of the iron out of the detection mode. So we'll leave the sensitivity in the middle and uh, We'll go ahead and uh, let's test it out.
All right, first thing we're gonna come upon is a piece of foil. So let's go, you wanna be, a, you know, right next to the ground, um, just, just slightly right above the ground and you're going to go in a side to side motion as you're walking forward. Uh, let's go ahead and get, hit that foil. And that is the foil beep that it makes. And on the actual, on the actual machine, it shows you this, let's take it off. But you could see that right above the discrimination, there is a little uh, indicator that shows you that it was a piece of foil. Right above the five cents, if you could see that to the left and uh, at the very top, it's, it says foil. So it actually did find foil. Uh, to do a little test on the actual pinpointing of the foil, uh, if this was obviously on the ground, you'd want to know exactly where it is. Now that you can see it, we don't need to do that. But you would press the target button in the middle. It's uh, marked by a crosshairs. And then you will hear it. And there you go. As you go right over it with the center of the metal detector, it gives you a really high-pitched noise, indicating that that's exactly where that piece of foil is located. All right, let's go really quick and uh, see what... Oh, we just went over the silver ring, so uh, right down here, we got the silver ring. So let's go see what uh, we get from that. As you can see, I don't know if you could see that really well, but the uh, indicator above the discrimination is pointing towards rings and it did not give me a, another indication. It's pointing towards a ring, gold or, or silver. So there you go. That worked well. Now let's go on to the gold ring, which is right down here, and see what that gives us. So that gives us an indication that it is also a ring and it's potentially made of gold. Now let's hear the difference in noise from gold or silver, which is those and foil. As you can see, there is no real difference. So that's one downside to this. It doesn't actually alert you to a difference in uh, sound, but it does show you on the display here what it potentially can be. Let's uh, go on over to the pocket knife. As you can see, the pocket knife is made out of iron and this will discriminate. It didn't really make much of a noise and it shows you that it's iron. So it just gives you a warning that, hey, there's something there that was iron. And you could see right there, it shows you right in the top left corner that it is an iron object and you may want to skip it over and finally let's go to the key key is right down there gives you a warning saying it's a piece of metal and it's right in between gold and or silver uh, so you know I'd probably want to dig that that particular item out and take a look at it and the lighter Finally, the lighter, it does show you that it is iron as well. And it doesn't give you much of a noise. So, there you have it. Ace uh, 400 by Garrett, metal detector. I think, personally, it's a really good metal detector and uh, it, it works uh, for the job that I, that I got it for. I'm sure there are plenty of better ones out there, but uh, this one works for me. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Uh, hang around and uh, we're going to go to the beach for uh, a little metal detecting, see what we could find. Otherwise, uh, thanks for your time and please subscribe. Mm. All right, so we're going to start off in the soft sand here. I got my uh, homemade uh, scooping tool. It was just basically a little uh, aluminum scoop that I just drilled a bunch of holes right through, the, right through it. And now it is a, a scooper so it can straighten out the sand. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on. Hold it off the ground. 
All right, got a good battery life. Let's do the sensitivity like in the middle. And then we're gonna go to, do we're gonna pick the zero discrimination mode? I guess we're gonna try to find everything and everything um, and see how that goes. So let's go check it out. So we're in the soft sand here by to the left of the Santa Barbara Pier. Let's see what we can find and get this angle nicely to the ground so I don't have to do too much work. Let the detector do most of the work and let's check it out. Pop it on. Zero discrimination. Let's find everything. And then just back and forth right over the ground. Something's down here at two inches. Let's pinpoint it. All right. Lots of rocks. Two inches down, shouldn't be too far. And it is a bottle cap. 